Okay, so I'll be teaching you how to solve the two by two. Before you keep on watching this, if you know how to solve a three by three, you could, cause you don't really need to watch the tutorial, cause essentially you're taking the same algorithm that you learned from the three by three to um, orient and permute the corners. So, essentially, you're applying those same algorithm to this 2x2, two two. and so, you could. So, if you don't know how to solve 3x3, three three, then um, it doesn't really matter, because I'll be teaching you how to solve the 2x2. Two two. Now, there will be three steps. Step number one is to get one solid side like this. Step two is orienting these um, top four corners. And there are seven or orientation cases, which are OLL cases, which OLL is orienting last layer. And I'll explain more later on in the video. And then the final step is permuting the corners, which there are only two other them for the permutation and I only know one of them. And first of all, what I like to do is take a look at the cube and see if there's a side that is easily solvable. And I know uh, this white side is easy to solve. And all I have to do is Put the corners in the correct position. And there. Bam. And then. OLO case number one that I'm going to teach you is this one. And the algorithm's right up here. So. If you don't understand what I'm saying, you can just read the, um, read it. You go. F or u prime r prime u prime r u r prime f prime case number two is this algorithm which is called the soon you do r u r prime u r u two r prime is the anti soon and you hold it where the top um colored corner is over here on the back right and you do R U2 R prime U prime R U prime R prime and then next algorithm case is this one and you do F R U R prime U prime R U R prime, U prime, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime. And then the next one is, is this case, where you have it looking like this, but make sure that you have the light headlights looking like this. And you do this, F, R, U prime, R prime, F, L, U and then L prime and then the next case is the next case is this case basically you're doing what you just did in the previous case but times 2 which is F R U R prime F prime L U R then L prime and then do it again F R U prime R prime U min F prime L U F prime and so basically you do that which is you want to hold it so that the solved um solved layer which is well the solved um 
the two that are in the correct position so that it's like this and then what you want to do is do this algorithm that you see which is r u r prime u prime r prime f r and then f prime and then now you're on to ol and pll with pll case um i don't know this case but I do have a sheet that tells me how to do it, and I'll look at it. So, for that case, all you're doing is make sure that you have two of the corners in the correct spot. And you're gonna do um, F or U prime or prime U prime R U R prime F prime R U R prime U prime R prime F R F prime and then you should have it the top layer song and you all you just have to do is a U or U2 or something like that. And then this other case which is this case where you have two of the corners solved. What you want to do is line it up with the correct color and then do a U. And then turn it so that the head the matched up colors are in the back. And then you do L prime. No, it goes. I'm not sure how to do this, but it goes like this. Where you put the L do L U R prime D two R U prime R prime D two and then R two and so there you just completed your first ever two by two. Now if you have a Rubik's brand or an Easing brand. Um, I recommend you either go and buy a V-Cube 2x2 um, with Eden Type-C 2x2 um, HK Now Store um, 2x2 the Shang Shao 2x2 or Go Sand 2x2 because those are all really good 2x2 the V-Cube 2x2 is much better because it can reverse corner cut like past here and then really good corner cutting. And it's just super fast. And there is another method that I'm sort of slowly learning which is Otega. It's where you instead of solving one side and then do OLL and then PLL you do one side, you solve one side, and then solve the other side, but it doesn't matter where the corners go, but at least you have, it's something, it should, at first when you have it, it should something look like this, where, um, it's like this, and then you do a certain algorithm to rotate, to orient, or permute the corners so that they're in the correct spot. Yeah. And that's how you would solve a Rubik 2x2 or 2x2 in general.